If every high school principal gave the following speech, America would be a much better place. To the students and faculty of our high school, I am your new principal and honored to be so. There is no greater calling than to teach young people. I would like to apprise you of some important changes coming to our school. First, this school will no longer honor race or ethnicity. I could not care less if you are black, brown, red, yellow, or white. I could not care less if your origins are African, European, Latin American, or Asian, or if your ancestors arrived here on the Mayflower or on slave ships. The only identity this school will recognize is your individual identity, your character, your scholarship, your humanity. But, but you know what's crazy? This video, first of all, I just wanted to put this out there. This video is seven years old, y'all. Seven years old. And it's crazy how we fast forward into 2023. And it, high schools, middle schools, whatever school, public school, private school, Christian school, whatever, bro. They all became so woke. They're all falling for the agenda, okay, that the government put out there. They all falling for everything. All these schools became so woke. Now, it's probably a couple schools, probably like 5% of schools out there that ain't falling for the bull. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy to me how all these schools are falling for the same type of agenda. You know what I'm saying? The LGBTQ, they care about race. They got all these different, you got HBCUs. And this. look, one thing I'm not going to do with my children is I'm not going to put them in all black school. I'm not going to put them in all white school. I'm not going to put them in nothing that says, nothing that's just, a particular for this group of people okay not no all boy school not no all girl school because that's not real life real life we are all it's it's a it's a mixture in real life if you think about it not you don't have to think about that in real life it's a mixture you have black you have whites you have hispanics you have everybody you know what i'm saying you have everybody you don't just have all blacks you don't just have all whites no you have everybody so i'm not going to keep my kids in just a particular school and say no you're going to go to all black school no, you're going to go to an all-white school. Like, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not real life. Because <laughs> it's not, you're not going to go through life just saying all-white people and all-black people. You feel me? And then, well, he's, bro, he said something so powerful. So, so powerful. L listen to this. The identity this school will recognize is your individual identity. Your individual identity. I wish you liberals can understand that. Individual. Let me break it down to you. End the jail whoa i'm just saying y'all don't understand that y'all consider everything just a whole group of people but it's your individual identity look at that that's so beautiful that is amazing your character your scholarship your humanity and the only national identity this school will recognize is american oh. this is an american public school and American public schools were created to make better Americans. Amen. If you wish to affirm here an ethnic or racial identity or a national identity other than American, you will have to attend another school. This includes after school clubs. I will not authorize clubs that divide students based on identities such as race, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or whatever else may become in vogue in our society. Those clubs cultivate narcissism, an unhealthy preoccupation with the self. Why do they even have clubs that's partic like that's, that's set aside for this particular group? I feel like that's stupid. I really feel like they, that that is honestly stupid. You have you have some uh, what's some things called in college? I forgot what they called. Uh, it's like step. It's like step steps. Uh, some like I forgot what it's called. But you got you got those things that's like some of them are just particular for black people. You know what I'm saying? You got like all these different groups that's particular for blacks or whites or Hispanics or like bro, why? Why divide people? That's just all you're doing is dividing every race. Why do that? I don't understand why schools are doing that. While the purpose of education is to get you to think beyond yourself. The school's clubs will be based on interests and passions. Mm. Clubs that transport you to the wonders and glories of art, music, astronomy, languages you do not already speak, and more. If the only extracurricular activities you can imagine being interested in 
are those based on ethnicity, race, or sexual identity, that means that little outside of yourself really interests you. Second, I do not care whether English is your native language. My only interest in terms of language is that you leave this school speaking and writing English as fluently as possible. The English language has united America's citizens for over 200 years, and it will unite us at this school. Furthermore, I would be remiss in my duty to ensure that you will be prepared to successfully compete in the job market if you leave this school without excellent English language skills. We will learn other languages here. It's deplorable that most Americans only speak English. But if you want classes taught in your native language rather than in English, this is not the right school for you. Third, because I regard learning as a sacred endeavor, everything in this school will reflect learning's elevated status. This means, among other things, that you and your teachers will dress accordingly. There will be a dress code at this school. And you will address all teachers by their title, not by their first name. They are your teachers, not your pals. Fourth, no obscene. That's just like, that. that is nothing but straight respect. Bro, this is the type of guy I would want to have uh, as a principal at my kid's school. This is the type of principals that we need. People who have some type of common sense. School is meant for you to learn. You're supposed to send your kids to school so they can get an education. They can learn about new things that they never learned before. They could be writing very great. You know what I'm saying? You know, you teach them how to write in cursive when you know when you sign off on papers. You're not supposed to print your name. You're supposed to. You feel me? You know, do things like that. That's like teaching your kids. You feel me? That's what they're going to school for to be taught. But you got kids that's going to school now that's being taught about pronouns, gender identity. What are we doing to the kids? And I feel so bad for the very next generation right after me. Now, I now technically I am the next generation, but I'm talking about the kids right now that's in pre-K kindergarten like those kids like by the time they get about high school or my age right now i'm 19 so by the time they get 19 or anything like that i'm gonna be well grown you feel me so it's just i, I feel bad i feel bad because they, they they're gonna be lost they're gonna be lost you got books out here that's that's meant for kids to learn about lgbtq ic four a a c o t whatever they called it i don't know it used to just be lgbt now it's LGBTQ, ITOC, I don't even know no more. I have lost it. I'm, I'm not even woke, and I promise y'all, listening to what woke people have to say, liberals, whatever you want to call them, listen to them, bro, it makes my mind explode. It makes my mind explode. This is the type of common sense that we need in schools, bro. This is, the, this is who I will want teaching my kids. Not no teacher that I don't identify as... No gender. I'm not a boy and I'm not a girl. You just confuse the crap out of my kids because when they come home, they see a woman and they see a man. But you telling them, they don't, you don't identify as nothing. So now they looking like, oh, well, I mean, my teacher don't identify as nothing. I'm not going to identify as nothing. If I want to be a cat, I could be a cat. If I want to be a dog, I could be a dog. You teaching nonsense. I love this guy. I seriously love this guy. Scene language will be tolerated anywhere on this school's property. By obscene language, I mean the words banned on radio and television, plus epithets such as the B word, even when addressed by one girl to another, or the N word, even when used by one black student to another. It is my intent that by the time you leave this school, you will be among the few your age to distinguish. I'm sorry, I keep pausing. Did he just say that? Oh my gosh, they would never, they would never in a million years make that a rule. Where black people can't say the N-word to black people, they would never make that a rule. Because it's okay for black people to say to black people, but let a white person say, oh my God, everybody gonna write, 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 write. But let, let a black person say to a black person, it's okay. It's okay. But they always complain about their ancestors. They always complain about racism. They always complain about what the white people used to do to black people. They always complain about this and that. They always complain how we, how black people had the loose land or the stick or whatever they want to call it. They always complain about all these different things, but then they can say the N-word to each other. I love this guy. This guy just made it clear as day. There will be no language. 
the B word, there'd be no N word, even if a black student say it to another black student. That makes the game so fair. I love it. Even when addressed by one girl to another, or the N word, even when used by one black student to another. It is my Beautiful. intent that by the time you leave this school, you will be among the few your age to distinguish between the elevated and the degraded, the holy and the obscene. Fifth, we will end all self-esteem programs. In this school, self-esteem will be attained in only one way. The only way self-esteem can be attained, by earning it. One immediate consequence is that graduating classes will have one valedictorian, not eight. Oh, man. Sixth and last. I am reorienting the school toward academics and away from politics and propaganda. No more time will be devoted to racism, sexism, Islamophobia, homophobia, global warming, tobacco, or gender identity. No more classes will be devoted to condom wearing and teaching you to regard sexual relations as no more than a health issue. And there will be no more attempts to convince you that you are a victim because you are not white or male or heterosexual or Christian. This school will have failed if any of you graduate without considering him or herself inordinately lucky. Lucky to be alive and lucky to be an American. Now please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of our country. As many of you do not know the words, your teachers will hand them out to you. I'm Dennis Prager. Oh, we wasn't going to say the Pledge of Allegiance? I thought we was going to say the Pledge of Allegiance. All right, anyways. Uh, hold on, bro. Dog. This, I love this. I love it. It's a lot of reasons why I love this. You know what I'm saying? Because the same viewpoints that I expect schools to have, this man had them all. But he's not a principal. And he's not in the schools today. Well, at least I, I don't think he is. I don't know. But I'm just saying, the only thing I didn't agree with was the whole sex thing. The reason why I say that is because it depends on what age or what group are you talking about. If you're talking about middle schoolers, eh. But the generation that we live in today, I think that talk needs to be had in school. Now, I say that, no, actually... You know what? I changed my mind. I feel like those talk those is talks that your parents supposed to have with you. Let me let me clear. I, I think that's the talk. Like I had the sex ed school. I had that. I took that uh class in school. But I do think that your parents should have that talk with you at whatever age they feel comfortable having that talk with you. Or having it in school, yeah, I get it. Okay. My bad, y'all. See, my viewpoints changed. Like, you know what I'm saying? But my bad. You get me? I definitely feel like you shouldn't have that in school. At first, I was going to say I think it's necessary, but now that I think about it, yeah, I think that's something that you would learn at home. Like, you should be taught that at home. You know, your parents should teach you that. Your, your, your dad, if you're a boy, your mom, if you're a girl, that should be taught in the home, not at school. School is for you to learn about other things besides your, you know, what – how you put on this and how you put because then they'll have kids curious because they had me it sure had me curious you feel me so anyways y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below every american needs to hear this speech because bro it was a deep speech every american needs to hear this bro but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section below i love each and every one of y'all man enjoy y'all friday i love y'all god bless stay blessed peace